Hi, I'm Laura Coyle, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a tip for selecting multiple objects in the Layers panel in Adobe Illustrator, and it's not as obvious as you might think. And if you want more Illustrator tips from me, be sure to sign up for my email list. The link is in the description for this video. All right, let's get started. So here I have one motif and over in the layers panel, we can see it's grouped here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and twirl this down so we can see everything that we have. And inside of this group, we have these green berries that are not in their own group. And maybe I wanna put them in a group. So it's good to be able to select multiple items here in the layers panel. So the obvious thing to me would be to come over here to where these little selection indicators are where we can click to select objects and then just hold the shift key maybe to do a bookend selection so we can select all of them, but nothing happens when I hold shift. The only way to select these when I hold shift is just to hold shift and click on every single berry, which takes a long time. But to me, the not obvious thing is to come over here to this column and these are the appearance targets. Here, those shortcuts work for us. So I can click one and then hold shift and come down to the bottom and click the bottom one and it selects every one in between. So if you wanna select multiple objects in the layers panel, just use the column here with the appearance targets rather than using the column here with the little selection indicators. I'm gonna go ahead and deselect here and show you one other shortcut that works. So the shortcut Command or Control, it lets you select multiple objects that are not right next to each other. So that's another way to do this, just holding Command or Control as you select multiple objects. All right, and I will deselect and now select the first berry and the last one and then group them, Command or Control G. And then I'll come here select the first one, select the last one of the leaves and group them as well. Now, if you wanna stay with me for a little bit longer, I've got some other things I just wanna point out about selecting things in the layers panel because these two things have different functions, even though we can use both of them to make selections. So the tooltip here says that this little blue square indicates the selected art and you can click it to select art and then, or you can click in the empty space to select art. And then the tooltip here for the target says, click to target and drag to move appearance. So it's not really telling you to click it to select the object, but that's what it does. When you click it, it also selects the object here, but this is an appearance target. And so it's got a special function of its own that I wanna show you. So just to demonstrate, I'm gonna go ahead and twirl down this group here and I'll just click here on the right to select the group. And you can see when I do this, I have every object in this group, the nested groups, the compound path, they're all selected here. But if we look in the left, only this group appearance is targeted. You see right here, it's not targeted. We don't see that ring around it like we do right here. So while I select the whole group, all the components are selected, but in the appearance, only the group is selected and the individual components, their appearance is not selected. So this is at the heart of the difference for these two indicators here. This has a real purpose above and beyond just selecting objects. So now that it's selected, I'll come over to the properties panel, FX here, and I'll just add a simple effect, this drop shadow. And then I'll come over here and click OK in that pop up. And now I've applied an effect to the group, a drop shadow to the whole motif. And as we can see over in the layers panel, the target is shaded indicating that drop shadow and it's not applied to the individual objects inside the group. It's only applied to the group as a whole, which makes sense because you want your drop shadow, you know, on the motif just once you don't want extra individual drop shadows on every one of these berries or you know on the leaf group or whatever. So it makes sense. And if I were to ungroup this motif, Command or Control Shift G, I lose that drop shadow because I no longer have the group or the container that was holding that motif together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that so we get back to where we were. So this is another thing that's you know useful about this appearance target here 
it says click to target, drag to move appearance. So let's do that. Let's move the appearance. So I can take this here and drag it down to this group. And I've just applied that drop shadow. I've moved it over to this berry group here. And then I'll go back to the layers panel and drag it down to this one. And you can also not only drag to move the appearance, you can actually hold the Option or Alt key while you drag and copy the appearance. See that little plus sign? So now every group has that same drop shadow on it. So even though I showed you a nifty trick for using these appearance targets to select multiple objects holding Shift, they really do have their own purpose, and I've just begun to touch on it. Now, if you want to learn more about this topic, about appearance in Illustrator, I have a good starting video that I'll link in the description. Let's say I want to remove this drop shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and target the appearance, selecting the appearance, and then I can come over here to the Properties panel and just click on the trash icon to delete the effect. Here we go. So it shows me that drop shadow that's applied and I'll click the trash icon and then I'll select this appearance on this group here and I'll click the trash icon again. All right. So now we know how to select multiple objects in the layers panel, but we also know a little bit more about that appearance target. Well, I hope you enjoyed those tips. And if you'd like to learn more with me, then join my Illustrator learning community. We have courses, live calls, and a community of artists and designers who like talking about anchor points. All right, thanks so much for watching this video and stay tuned for my next one.